This video has been brought to you by Gen X Glow FM, Dubstep Radio. with Gen X Glow. I am here with Josh and Sean, a.k.a. Flex Pavilion and Dr. P. Hello, boys. All right. Hello. Did you just finished your awesome set. How are you feeling? Very tired, yeah. Just came off about a minute ago, so yeah. Here we go. You fucking killed it. You guys were really, really awesome. I loved everything. I was just sweating, drenched in sweat. So thank you for the fun times. This is your first time at Starscape? First time more in the States. Our, Our third, third day. Show. Yeah, third day third in the show. States. Ever. Ever? Yeah. Wow. So what do you think of us so far? Yeah, it's all right, yeah. It's, it's been the best night we've played here. Definitely. Yeah, definitely. Best night? That's best night so far. high praise. That's Starscape, y'all. Starscape. Yeah, good wicked, times. Wicked night, definitely. Yeah. So how do you guys prepare for Starscape? Would you do anything special? Were you just looking for new mixes? To be honest, I never really know what a show's going to be until I get there. So... When I get here, I'll just look at the crowd and sort of like try and get a vague idea of what they're yeah. going to enjoy and then just play some music. I mean, we kind of knew Starscape was going to be big, but we had no idea how big. Oh my god! Oh, for real, for real. <laughs> my name is actually Datsik. Um, these guys absolutely fucking smacked it. I don't think they could have done any better, so... <laughs> yeah. This is a bunch of bro love. I mean, the best thing about being over in the States is obviously having Datsik, Excision, Skrillex. It's kind of like all our mates that we've met. Bass Nectar? Oh, uh, basically, oh, Lauren, of course. It's kind of like touring in the UK and then everyone that we've met that we're friends with now we're over here. I feel at home, so at home here, having all these guys. Yo, I think Starship is the only spot for the fun. fucking smashed it holy fuck anyway he's Canadian so he would say that <laughs> <laughs> anyway peace the fuck out Where, where's Rusko anyway when all this is happening there's a Rusko somewhere kind of like it's 5 o'clock somewhere but it's Rusko somewhere <laughs> wherever he is there's fun to be had so <laughs> essentially so um, tell me about your new releases and mixes coming out for this year um, well I'm working on my album my sort of the biggest thing I've ever done so I've been working on it for about seven or eight months. It should be coming out at the end of the year, but that's pretty much all I've been doing. That's why no one's heard anything new from me in ages, because I'm keeping it all because on Because you've now. been working, hard at work. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah. What about you? Uh, I've been considering the possibility of an album. That's as far as I've got. How do you go from possibility to actual? A lot of work <laughs> that I haven't done yet. I haven't started the work yet. <laughs> well, you guys are relatively new. I mean, so you, uh, I'll give you some, some slack, yeah. some leeway, it's okay. Get eased into it, but this was your biggest show tonight, right? Yeah, by far. I think the most I've done before is about two, maybe two and a half thousand, and I think that was about three, four, something like that. Yeah, what, how, how many people were there? Do you even know? <laughs> uh, there was an endless sea of heads. All you saw were just thrashing heads going like this. They were, they were dipping over the horizon, that's all I know. Yeah. It was a horizon full of people, and it was gorgeous to see. Especially when they keep throwing glow sticks at you. Cool, that was cool. <laughs> so after you guys leave Starscape, what's next for you? Uh, we're playing somewhere on Monday. Um, hang on, I know this better than you do. Um, Syracuse on Monday, and then I think it is Burlington on Thursday, Washington on Friday, Atlanta on Saturday, and then my brain stops working. Yeah, basically, we're continuing the tour. Do you guys ever get overwhelmed? Um, yeah, well, I was massively overwhelmed tonight. Like, pretty much every show I get overwhelmed. Uh, it is a bit cooler, really. Yeah, I, I, I wasn't overwhelmed by that. So. <laughs> Do you ever um, put your 
beforehand, or do you just kind of feel off the crowd? Well, basically, if I'm first, I can't play any of his tracks. If he's first, he can't play any of my tracks. That's, that's as much as we think about it, really. Yeah, I mean, uh, I kind of, because we play out so much, we get things that we know that work, tracks that work together, and that's in the back of my mind, but I'll pretty much make it up on the spot. But it ends up sounding pretty much the same every time. I can attest to that, yeah, it's a good times. Basically, you can tell when you've lost a crowd, and I have done that many, many a time. Yeah, but, um, there's certain tracks that get a crowd back, and you hold them off until you lose them. What's one track that still works on every crowd every single time? Uh, bass cannon. <laughs> yeah, bass cannon, yeah. yeah. Signed base cannon on eBay. How much did it go for? Signed, um, two hundred and forty pounds. I thought, and it was me that bought it. Yeah. <laughs> and he didn't pay for it, so I smashed it up and we left it. <laughs> I don't. Do Americans get sarcasm? I don't feel that they do I that can, much. I, yeah. can, I, can do dry humor. I don't feel like it's a massively a thing over here, as much as it is in the UK anyway. I got you. I mean, I watch The Office. I get down. Monty Python. I can get down with some British comedy. Do you know my um, my middle name is Kierkegaard Grant, which is actually a character from Monty Python. Really? Strangely enough, yeah. My mum and dad smoked a lot of weed, I think, uh, or whatever they did. But I'm named after Monty Python character. This interview's gone to a very strange place. Very, very strange place. But with that being said, thank you guys so much for your time. Have a great tour. I look forward to your album. And you, sir, we need more singles. <laughs> brat, brat, brat. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks, guys. We're out. Yes. Please count tickets.